Hey, what's going on? This is Leo, and today we're going to talk about the AMC token. We're also going to talk about uh, one of my viewers had asked about the potential ramifications after uh, a squeeze of this nature. What can we expect within the economy? So I'll give my thoughts on that. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, dive in. So apparently Yahoo Finance is pushing this AMC token of some kind. Uh, it says the Ape Movement community announces the official debut of the AMC token. You know, I don't know who the AMC Movement Ape community that they're referring to is. It sounds just like just something that's made up. You know, it, it doesn't. It's certainly not us. We haven't seen anything within the uh, Reddit forums or any mention of this token whatsoever. So it's kind of a just coming out of nowhere. And you know, my first thought is. I wonder if, okay, so two things. It could just be that some random person is trying to make a scam coin to skim off a little bit of money from the uh, the community, right? A bunch of people buy in, they pump the coin, then they just rug pull and they're gone. Or, you know, there's always the possibility that it's uh, desperate hedge funds trying to divert money to go into this token potentially so they can skim it off and take money from the community. Um, but ultimately, you know, I, right now I don't see any reason to believe that this thing is anything legitimate whatsoever. I'd say there's probably a 99.9% .9 chance that this thing is a scam. So just be aware of that. Ignore it for now. You know, if we come out, I don't know, something crazy happens, like Adam Aaron says that he's partnering with them or something like that. Okay, now we can take a, another look at it, but it, it's nothing that I would encourage anyone to go after. It, it's um, it, it's interesting that Yahoo Finance is pushing this because, I, you know, typically I don't see Yahoo pushing uh, scam coins. So it, it makes me lean on them having been paid to push this AMC token. It's just the whole thing is just very, very weird. And it, it smells like it smells like the hedge funds are trying to pay Yahoo finance to push this article so that you can divert attention away from the actual stock and the potential for a short squeeze into this other token. I mean, what's the purpose of this token? Ask yourself that. What what is what is it going to do, right? It, it it effectively doesn't do anything because it's not it's not a dividend. It's not if this was a dividend token that was going to eat shareholder for each like you would get one token for every uh share that you own. Okay, now this is something that is replicating what Overstock had done and it could potentially force a squeeze, but I believe the company itself, AMC, would have to do that. The, a third party like this wouldn't be able to go in. So it's just, it's just noise. Just I w I'm ignoring it, other than sharing my thoughts and letting people know that I believe it's. I, I have no reason to believe that this is anything legitimate. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to what could we expect after the squeeze, as far as the economy goes. And I think the easiest way to do that is to break it down to its basic fundamentals, right? It's its basic principles. In order for AMC to squeeze, we have to get money from somewhere, right? So that means that either other securities and assets are to be sold off to pay for it. If you do that, where are those going to be coming from? Well, they're going to be coming from the markets, right? Obviously. So we would see asset prices fall as you would with a recession. We know that we're expecting a recession. We're well overdue for one. I, I don't count the couple month recession that we had with, uh, the, uh, the COVID situation to be sufficient. You know, the markets are, are very overinflated due to cheap money. So I think that it, it's a recipe for a market correction, a market recession, whatever you want to call it. Um, if it gets to the point of depression, you know, that I don't know. Uh, there's an argument that could be made that the 2008 
uh, situation was because you have a you have a depression within economies about every seventy five to one hundred years. That's called the uh, the big debt cycle. It, so there's an argument to be made that it was two thousand eight. It could be, and I think that it could. I think it could possibly be what's coming. Um, but it, you know, it's hard to say until it happens. Um, anyway, so getting back to the, uh, AMC. So we'd we'd expect that securities, stocks, all of those would be at a discount. So it's a great buying opportunity if you leave, uh, you know, once the squeeze has happened and you have some profits. It's a great opportunity to go in and start buying um, core companies uh, such as Tesla, blue chip type companies that are at a big discount, uh, things of that nature, scoop them up at a discount and then just you know, hold them for many years to come. Um, more than likely, best bets would be buying into blue chips. You'd have higher returns, but safer bets would just be buying into uh, indexes, which allow for a broader, exp- for example, like in an index fund like the S&P 500 isn't going to go belly up, but an individual company could go belly up. So, if you invest into an index fund, you're safer in the sense that it's not going anywhere, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, the other option would be, let's say that there aren't any uh, securities that are sold off to get money to pay for it. Well, the other thing would be, and I think this is less likely, would be that uh, government has to print money for some sort of bailout. Problem with that is that now you're talking more inflation, Despite whatever excuses that people want to make up, the reason for inflation is the over, uh, there's too much money in the market. Okay. They increased the money supply. <clears throat> what was it last year? It was either, I think it was 2021 or might've been 2022. I get my years mixed up, but they increased the total money supply in America by 40%. And then they're sitting here wondering, well, oh, oh, no, there's inflation because of this reason. It's that reason. No, it, it's not because we printed more a ridiculous amount of money into the market. No, it's not that reason at all. I mean, it's basic economics. You print money, it causes inflation. We've seen it. It's happened throughout history countless times. I mean, it's just, it, it's absurd for them to say that it's anything other than the money printing that's uh, that's causing it. So, uh, I mean, a third possibility is that you see some sort of a hybrid between the two where the security sell off and money printing has to take place. So ultimately, you know, recession. I don't I don't think that this thing occurs unless we are really wrong and it's not as big as we think. Um and, and you know, there's an argument for let's say that we got the synthetics wrong. There aren't billions of synthetics and there really is just a twenty percent short interest on the company. Well now you have a situation where you could see really astronomical prices per share, but the money it takes to cover is significantly less, right? Because there's less shares you'd have to buy back. So there's just like a hundred million shares that are short and that, and then the stock squeezes, uh, the price could go higher per share, but it won't cost trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars, if that makes sense. So there is that situation, uh, but I mean, ultimately, it's hard to it's hard to say because we just don't know how many synthetic shares there are. We don't know naked short positions and all the things that are going on behind the scenes. We can only speculate. So if it is bad, then I would say very likely a recession and a bad one at that. So without further ado, I think that's pretty much wraps up this video. Don't really have a whole lot else to talk about, but I mean, ultimately, just goes into a recession. So until next time, I'll talk to y'all soon.